I'll go first if I may. I, I think actually other infectious diseases that we put up with are probably a, a reasonably good starting point. Uh, so uh, I think it's reasonable to say, let's not have COVID winters that are any worse than um, bad flu winters. But bad flu winters can be quite bad. Uh, so I, I, I'll be honest with you, it's one of the things we have cried out for again and again is, is could somebody uh, in a position of political power uh, tell us what is an acceptable number of infections? And maybe this past year, maybe in 2020, when it was all so difficult, the number of infections and deaths was so high, perhaps it was understandable that nobody would say that. But I think going into the future, I, I, I think I'm agreeing with your question, is that, is that we, we do need to decide uh, what level uh, we feel is acceptable, uh, and then we can manage our lives with that in mind. And assuming that we're going to keep on doing some, at least some kind of community testing, you know, we, we, we do get warning. It takes several weeks uh, for well, a couple of weeks for some people to need to be admitted to hospital. So if we know how many people are getting infected in the community, we can tell how many people are going to be going to hospital in two weeks' time. Uh, so uh, if, if we could have a really sensible discussion uh, about what is acceptable and uh, what we would need to do to avoid breaching what we think is acceptable. Chris? But that question of what is acceptable is not a scientific question. That is a question for the whole of society, 